Morning. Here we are. Thanks for that. Good luck to you. Oh, yeah. What's the matter with you? Any for the blind? 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 Help a blind man. Have this. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply. For the man with no nose is coming for you. All right, friend. I'm sure you got better things to do than follow a lame blind man around. <laughs>
Let's go, boy. She shot her. Yep. She deserved it. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil, for oil. Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us. Ride with us against the factory. I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son. My last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust. Yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Run with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, have to help me after we spoke. This is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do, Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Huh? Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? Handed them a death sentence. Just like John, if we hadn't got him out of that prison.
Washington. Hey! Show some goddamn respect! You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough! What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier. Bill, right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose, because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on! Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No. No. Go. Please hurry. I'll be... Come on! Yeehaw! We gotta help these men. And anyone see Eagle Flies? There. Going across the walkway. You got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there, I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on there. Yeah! Let's ride!
Men. Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Ugh. Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get out oh. of the factory, Bill. Where's Colonel Faber? Send him out here. You bastards! You want to look down? The others. We need to get to the factory building. You got what you wanted.
Let's find the others. We need to get to the factory building. You're nothing but murderers. Bunch of goddamn cowards. Bunch of cowards. Kill all these sons of bitches. Move up. Finish them. Four of them. You thought we wouldn't fight? Look out! I'll oh, kill you!
bastards! <coughs> I don't see none of them standing no more! Over here, Arthur! So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money. You fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. And we're done. We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on, don't doubt me no more. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. Got some cash. How much? I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. Did you hear that? Gentlemen! We're here for you! Your friend? Get in there! Shoot him! Find him! Now! Come on! Come on, Arthur! We have got to get out of here! You have a piss to clean up! Cover me, Arthur! Should be. Come on. 
We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job... <coughs> well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to Wapiti as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men... Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this... About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know... Dutch... Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and... and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You've seen the situation on the reservation. Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... Some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. For eagle flies, I'd be. I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. Hold up a second. <laughs> Bring him to me.
Paixão. others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Please, drink, drink this. <laughs> Rest a minute. Wenn ich nur besser Englisch könnte. Sie haben uns gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir Sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... anything again? I couldn't take it. Hey there.
is wrong with, with you? You messed up in the head. Who are those two creepy fellas over with Micah? Two guns, he knows. What the hell are they doing here? I have no idea. <sighs> Arthur, I'm... I'm real scared. This... This ain't good. You're gonna be okay. But... Be ready. Just... Be ready. I understand. That's it. I can use the company. And this fella here. Well, at least you ain't run off. He's a good guy. A real good guy. Sort of a... a what you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. That's always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. <laughs> We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but you got to do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family, I, I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we got to let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. 
insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his...